Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. And uh, today is a beautiful day. I flew in the last video already today, and, and it's just so nice. I had to get another airplane out here and get it in the air. And uh, thought, man, the E-Flight 1.5 meter P-51 Mustang, man, this airplane is so awesome. I rarely fly it off pavement, but because of the snow, we're going to do it off the pavement today. Hopefully we get a nice takeoff and landing. And uh, again, just a very light breeze coming out of the south-southwest. So we're at the other edge of the parking lot just to give myself extra room after I touch down. Because I tend to touch down either right in front of me or beyond me. So leave plenty of runway down there to get it stopped. Let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. All right, she's all lined up. Throttle cut is off. Let's go one click on the flaps. And uh, we'll give it a little, give it a little up elevator. And uh, we'll go, we'll go high rates for the takeoff. Give it a little bit of up elevator and we're gonna steer it as we start taxiing it. Try to hold a nice straight line and get enough power to clear that snow bank down there. Let's do it. So you can see I got a little bit of right rudder built in. Because it wants to turn left with all that torque. And we're going to build some power here. And uh, gear going up. And the gear takes a little while. So I'll leave those flaps in until the gear's up. And there it looks nice. All right, flaps going up. And this airplane is designed, or the P-51 Mustang, we'll just say in general, is a, is a sporty plane. I mean, I'm only doing half throttle and it's a big airplane so it doesn't look maybe as fast as those little airplanes when they're going this fast, but it is moving. And we'll climb into this turn. We won't get too low. I did hit one of those orange sticks that they use for the snow plow. Nice flat roll there. If I keep it in tight, I can get a little lower. Boy, it looks good. I just love flying this airplane. Uh, P-51 Mustangs in general, I love flying. And I've been on the fence about the new one. Here we go, high speed pass. Boy, it sounds good. That new 1.2 meter, I haven't decided if I wanna pay for that one or not. Guys, leave some comments if you think it's one that I must have. And I'll get it and I'll share it with you guys. Uh, if not, just say so and uh, I won't buy it. I do appreciate everybody that's been using the affiliate links. I always put them in the description box. Helps the channel quite a bit. I, I try to use all that money to purchase new airplanes when they're available. And uh, unfortunately right now there's not been a whole lot of airplanes coming out. It is starting to pick up now because it is that time of the year when people are picking up new airplanes for the next season. Way up there. This airplane, just a blast. We'll do one circuit inverted here. Now this airplane does use the tray, and uh, but it is flat, and that got it way up in the nose, and the canopy actually hangs down on this one just a little bit, um, which helps, you know, if the battery was to come, or the tray was to come loose, the, the canopy would stop it from going too far back. It would still mess up the CG quite a bit, but I think I could land it with it moving back right now i have that battery way way up in the nose i just happen to like flying that way uh, i think everybody 
that watches the channel often knows that I like my airplanes to fly a little bit nose heavy. Now, of course, the ducted fan jets is a different, different tune. Uh, you don't, you don't make those nose heavy or you have problems with flare on the landings. And, uh, but a big Warbird prop plane nose heavy is not too big a deal. I will still be able to flare it, especially since I'm flying in high rates. And, uh, I don't want the nose up when I'm coming in anyways, because, uh, that's when you get that problem with stalling it on the landing and Warbirds can do that. There we go. Turned into the, out of the roll there. Not into, but out of the roll. We don't want to get too close to that lamp post. Kind of a wing over deal there. Just kind of a half throttle pass. Nice. I love flying this airplane. A lot of rudder, kind of carrying a half deal there. So we'll get the gear coming down so that we can see it on this pass. Oh, look good. Love seeing the gear down. We'll bring it around. We'll add in uh, full flaps. Make sure I got plenty of power because it will slow it down. You don't want to get too banked in the turn with the flaps deployed. Oh, nice. Coming in really smooth. I'll take that. Lots of right. No. Ugh. <sighs> well, I think it hit soft enough that there was no damage. Hate to see that happen. If I could have got it maybe a little more right or straight on the path here it wouldn't have curled that far i don't know do better next time right <laughs> all right let me go pick it up all right i got over there and picked it up and it was straddling the parking block and so it only hit on the air intake on the very bottom and I didn't even see a scratch on the paint, so super lucky that it didn't damage anything. This uh, E-Flight 1.5 meter P-51 Mustang is a great flying airplane. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky on the landing. You want to get it nice and centered in the runway. I uh, probably should have kept a little bit of power but I was kind of running out of runway and that's why I was trying to get it stopped. And uh, that's when it turned and I couldn't control it anymore. Maybe if I would have committed to that left turn uh, early in the as the plane started rotating on its own, maybe it would have turned really fast and kept from traveling over there because I was fighting it, trying to get it to go right. Anyways, uh, just a fun flying airplane. It looks great in the sky. Super happy to have this airplane. And um, big thanks to the Lord for providing a, a gorgeous day to be out flying in the middle of the winter. I, I can't be any more happy about flying today, guys. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.